how do fertility tests work and whether these fertility tests hurt? Um, the fertility tests are assessing for four main reasons for female and uh, for infertility, both male and female. So it involves looking at the ovarian reserves, looking at checking the ovulation, checking the tubal um, fallopian tubes, and excluding male factor infertility. So checking for the ovarian reserves will involve um, checking for the blood test, doing a blood test and an ultrasound scan for anti-malarian hormone levels and the follicle stimulating hormone. The ultrasound scan measures the presence of small follicles in the ovary, which is also known as an antral follicle count or AFC. So combining the measurement of the anti-malarian hormone along with the FSH or follicle stimulating hormone along with the measurement of antral follicle count will give you an idea about the ovarian reserve. Checking for ovulation involves measuring the progesterone levels a week before the expected period. And that gives us an idea of a good progesterone levels when the embryo is about to implant. So um, the assessing for fallopian tubes will involve doing tests such as HICO-Z, hysterosalpingogram, or arranging a laparoscopy in a dietist if you may have coexisting gynecological conditions that, risk the, uh, that increase the risk of um, infertility. Most of these are outpatient procedures except laparoscopy in a dye test or lap and dye where you, it's a keyhole surgery performed as a day surgical procedure. Okay. Um, assessing for male factor involves um, doing a semen analysis and that would give us an idea whether there is any factor that can affect uh, the fertility as a couple. Um, do the fertility tests hurt? Majority of the tests involve doing blood test and the ultrasound scan. And obviously there are special scans like HICO-Z and obviously there's a day surgical procedure. So the really it depends on what tests are being requested. Um, as regards the ultrasound scan, these are mainly vaginal scans or pelvic scans. However, it's no more uncomfortable than having a smear test done. Having a HICO-Z or a hysterosalpingogram is slightly more invasive and it involves uh, placing a catheter into the womb cavity, instilling a dye and checking for the fill and spill. When the dye spills from the far ends of the tubes, it can irritate the lining of the belly or the abdominal cavity and that can give rise to a sense of a discomfort more commonly described by patients as a bad beard gram. Having a laparoscopy and, or a lap and, a, uh, lap and dye test is more invasive and obviously it is more uncomfortable. You would need to take uh, time off a few days and more stronger painkillers. Majority, before doing a high cosy and hysterosalping gram, majority of the patients are advised to take simple analgesics such as paracetamol. So largely to reassure you, majority of the fer fertility tests are, do not hurt and are not as bad as patients expect them.